So hello, another video for me. Yesterday it was Murzbo and uh, today is a special day for me. Um, I bought some items and I bought it from and with Frans de Waard. Um, Frans de Waard for me as name came up uh, as the name of Freiband and uh, with Freiband he made some recordings with Stephen Wilson and then I uh, <clears throat> get to the internet I saw with this uh, Hayes Shrapnel this card, visit card I came to Corn, Corn Plastics which is a label was a label, is a label from France and uh, so I get to, uh, to his site and the first thing I saw here yeah, that he has written a book about his years at uh, Stahl. I have to pronounce it good Stahl Plaat. It's a Dutch um, independent label for experimental and electronic music and home to bands like Muslim Goss, Soviet France, etc. He worked there 11 years as a kind of director, director of the label, and he wrote a book about that period when he was there, 11 years. So a very book with a lot of text in English, so if you're interested in experimental abstract music, uh, ambient electronics, noise, it's maybe uh, very nice to, to, to buy this book. Uh, it is not, not, not expensive, very cheap I uh, would say, but if you like it to read something about this, watch his site. I will leave some links below. So that's where I was today. Uh, half, an hour and a half I was with him and talked about some all kinds of music. Bought a book from him. I bought a CDR Mini. Uh, so this is Frans de Waard, with his own name, Plotlight. Didn't listen to it yet. He liked the uh, the CD, the three-inch CDs. He likes to put on some music. It's short. This is uh, as Danitov. Also the three-inch. I will. Uh, when you see Discogs, you type in Franz de Waard. You see all kinds of names: B Queen, Core, Destroyed Music, as Danitov, Goom, Information Aggression. International music, concrete assembly, capote music, montage op locatie, etc. etc. So he has a lot of names where he makes music. Freiband capture. And um, also he gave me this one. Uh, kind of a very strange kind of thing. I don't know how it plays in, in your CDs player, so I have to watch it. So the credit card like CD and this is from his daughter. He told me that uh, she was nine years old and she uh, she had some recording. He asked his father from France uh, why can you make some recordings and she was five times five days she was busy with making this one. This is called Geluidjesmuziek. So I'm curious if his daughter has as much talent as Frans himself. Uh, I also bought this one, and this is very special. It's uh, from 2003. Special. Um, in 2016, it was re released. It's a double album, double CD. Jonathan Kolokolov, Bass Bass Communion, and Colin Porter. And what they do is they remix each other's music. Uh, on, uh, let's see, um, the album. Remix, remix album of Bass Communion, reached, reached, uh, I have to watch, how is it called? Um, reconstructions and Recyclings, sorry I have to, well, you have to wait so long, uh, they um, remastered the piece, of the remixed the piece uh, called uh, Drug 3, uh, they called it Drug 4, and um, they remixed it again on this album and basically Union Stephen Wilson remixed some of the uh, songs of tracks or music from the other two. 
So the, the first CD is four tracks. Um, in total, yeah, I think 60, 70 minutes. And the second CD is epidural. It's uh, 50, 73, 74 minutes long. I think the maximum that you can put on a CD, maybe something more, but not more, uh, uh, much more. So this is uh, for my Bass Communion collection, another addition to it. It's a uh, two CD simple picture, book cover. It's not really a book, it's not text in it, only a picture that I'll show you to you. Nice picture. That's the CD that I bought. I bought this one. Uh, I saw. I went to his uh, um, Discog site. I saw Faust. Faust is a German band uh, known uh, in the crowd rock scene. Uh, they have put out some early music in the 70s. This is uh, from their album um, Ravi Ravi Nando Ravi Vando, released in 1990, and it's all releases of all remixes by other artists. Listen to some some one song yet, so I can't have a really opinion about it. Then uh, yesterday I made a video about Merzbow, and this is Merzbow with Capote Music, and Capote Music is Frans de Waard. Uh, Capote Music, broken music. Uh, his father loved uh, classical music. Um, he wrote books. I read about. Uh, classical music about the Dvorak, uh, for example, and the music uh, his son listened to, his son Franz de Waard listened to, he uh, didn't like it. Uh, classical music was the only music music for him, and so he called it uh, called the music he listened to, Franz listened to, was Capote music, broken music. It's a box uh, in a box, and um, I think it's very harsh, very harsh music by Mirzbo and also my Frans de Waard. So this is a poster, I think. Let's see. A poster. Here some uh, tracks. Tracks and something how they made the new music. Um, as I'm correct, it's, it's a live recording, some live recordings. Um, Mirzbo was here in 89, I suppose. I think uh, 89, yes. Uh, Radio Rataplan in uh, October 89. He made uh, some kind of mini tour in uh, in Holland, in uh, Nijmegen. He went in, uh, and to other places, and he made some recordings. And that's what's on this one, on this CD. Three CDs. Let's see the covers. So nice addition to my little Merzbow collection. I was with, uh, with Franz and he also had the Merz box, so I saw that box set with 50 CDs, with the book, with the t-shirts. And uh, I must say, it was, a, I didn't, I, I was expecting a lot more, but uh, I didn't watch it carefully, but, but the 50 CDs are in, are in, a, in a plastic, behind a, in a restore, uh, Kind of thing where you where you keep your discs aren't aren't in any uh, sleeves or so and the booklet I didn't see that was very interesting I think uh, so I, I saw the box today the Merz box as far as it was was a very uh, is a very uh, he likes Merzbow a lot especially he said the 80s and 90s stuff the, the analog stuff what I also bought was this one I couldn't uh, I had to have this one of course it's on tone float. It's uh, Stephen Wilson with Witfreibon, with Frans de Waard, and um, Frans has uh, had a Japanese, um, he, uh, Japanese one, uh, someone asked him to make uh, some recordings from one minute on, on uh, this um, VL Tones uh, electronic music instrument, and uh, he did, and he's, he asked uh, uh, for every piece he has to, had to uh, collaborate with someone, that was the it was um, how did the um, how do you call it Opdracht, assignment, 
And uh, so he asked Stephen Wilson also for a one minute piece. I put uh, Stephen Wilson made five, and um, the four tracks he didn't use, they, he made a lot of music by this one. So it's for an unused one minute piece. It says that Stephen Wilson created from the Raw Casio VL Tone 1 recordings. And uh, it became a three CD set. So, wow. Also, a box set. The original tunes are also in it. I saw the instrument by France uh, today. He has two of them. So uh, Stephen didn't have, have one, so he, he decided to, to they they switched music uh, forth and and and, and uh, via the, the internet and they apped with each other. And uh, when I'm correct, it's all some of the app contact is in here. So here's the instrument, last postal. Very small, maybe it's on real. This maybe it's as big as the picture. And here are some uh, Stephen Wilson. Hey, Franz never owned any Casio stuff to be honest. So it's nice to have to retreat how they uh, communicate and make music. So that's the uh, Tone float. We assume it with, with pictures from Carl Glover. So this one, I will let just show you one CD. It's on, yeah, it's on the tone float. It's mostly the same. I made some uh, videos of my uh, collection of tone floats from the, the first 100. This is tone float 194. Maybe you can read it here in the very small lettering. So up to the 200, this is the second CD and a bonus CD or CD3. So, curious how this sounds. Last thing I bought today um, is a flexi disc, I didn't own one. It's this one, it's the next room, parts one and two, Bass Communion and Freiband featuring Michael Esposito. And Michael Esposito, we talked a little about him. He is um, 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 let's see, he works with EVP. Um, an EVP is it's a kind of yeah. Within ghost hunting and parapsychology, electronic voice phenomena are sounds from electronic recordings that are in inter interpreted as spirit voices that have been either unintentionally recorded or unintentionally requested and recorded. So he records uh, ghost hunting voices uh, of dead people. And um, on this um, Single. There are some some of those those noises of the and and the bass communion and Freiband made um, a kind of remix of a kind of music over that. So this is his flexi disc. So if, let's let's see how it looks. Well, it's in, in it's nice. It's in, it's not round. It's. Uh, uh, Well, my English is so bad. I don't know how that how you call this in the vierkant. The triangle is uh, not, but you know what? You see what I uh, I mean. That's the problem with me. I don't know everything in English. And my preparation, if I want to prepare very good, I have to spend so much time. So I'm improvising a little bit. But if you're interested in kind of music, this kind of music, um, I got this letter. Um, go to the site. Um, he, um, if you like to read reviews or new releases to this kind of music, you can subscribe to his Vital Weekly uh, from Frans de Waard. I will uh, put the links below. Um, look it up. Very nice. I said yesterday if you're interested in some experimental music, in other music, give this uh, a shot and uh, I will uh, Go listening to uh, some uh, Mersbro as first, I think. Let's see how that sounds. And then uh, to Base Communion Freiband and 
I have a lot of listen to, so uh, you enjoy also your your music. Bye bye.